While we have a couple of moments here before we get started today, I thought I'd just show you a close-up here and a short demo of how we set up this Sony system. Here on the transmitter, we have the power on button, and it's uh, much nicer than using a slide button. It's just a quick push button. Green means we're good to go. Orange means we're on mute. And if we want to turn it off, we just hold it in until it goes dark. Now back here on the receiving unit, as you can see, we've got one dial here for making our selections and a screen in the center that will display what our selections are. So let's zoom in on that just a tad. First thing we want to do is the channel setup. And to do that, I'm going to turn my microphone back on. Push channel setup, best channel selection, and it'll scan. While it's scanning, I'm going to unscrew the sleeve off of the microphone. And it has selected channel 1. Last week, it selected channel 4. So let's hold the button in for a moment until it flashes. 5, 6, 1. And then hold that down until it locks in. I'm going to mute the microphone at this point. As you can see, it also gives us an approximate time remaining on the battery life, which is uh, a very nice feature as well. And it also says your equalizer on, and I'll show you how we set that up. Just go to push the button once again, go to audio setup, equalizer on, and then the equalizer panel will come up, and we can let's do that one more time. Equalizer on and then we can select which of these frequencies we want to adjust 60 Hertz 250 1k 4k 12k and I think in this particular case we're about where we want to be I think I want a little bit more 1k this room is got um, not a lot to soak up the sound here so we're going to tweak that just a tad and when we're done we just hit set and we're ready to go with five hours and 30 minutes left on our battery power